Hey everybody, thank you all for tuning in. You're watching The Buzz. And today we are talking about the latest software update from Tesla, and it is 2019 5.15. Now, there are some strange things about this update that I wanted to bring to your attention for those of you who are actually receiving it now. And I know this has been sort of a, a long wait because there was that initial push of, I think it was like 5.3 and 5.4 that included Century Mode and some other software updates as well. Any of you who have downloaded this software update noticed that there was something missing from the release notes. And just so you know, what I received in my update notification um, was just dog mode and the auto folding mirrors and that was it and, and then it just said that there were some previous or some uh minor bug fixes and improvements in this update as well and then these are the previous ones that i had so you could see it only showed me those two uh, which i thought was kind of odd it did not indicate that century mode was there the blind spot chime the only two items that it notified you of that were being updated was uh, dog mode and the blind spot chime. So, you know, there's a whole lot that's surrounding this update that we really don't know. I've been trying to find out really what was entailed in this update. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go over three of the four updates. Yeah, four, four. Uh, three of the four updates that were uh, downloaded to your vehicle um, through this update. Uh, one of them will definitely be sentry mode. We'll go ahead and check that out. Uh, dog mode will be the second one. And we're going to look at the um, the folding mirrors, uh, both via the geographic location as well as home link. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and cover blind spot just because I don't have an opportunity right now to take the car out. So we're going to go ahead and roll some clips here to show you guys what I've been doing because I have tested it as well. And I want to show you the, the results of those. Also, tests. I wanted to let you know that if you are looking for sentry mode on your phone application it's not going to be there unless you have just recently did the update to i believe it's 3.8.2 um, so if you were a version previous to that you will not see sentry mode as part of that update so you have to go into the uh, play store or the apple store and go ahead and update your application and once you do it will automatically populate in there and you will see Sentry mode as an option for you to turn it on and off via your application, which is really really cool There were some other updates that people were thinking that may have been part of this 5.15 update Such as the increased power the increased battery and there really hasn't been any indication um, from Tesla or anywhere else that I have found indicating that those updates were part of this 5.15 push. So we're going to have to, you know, dig through this and see really um, what was there because it doesn't tell you a whole lot. And based on my charging and everything else that I've been doing and driving the vehicle, um, it hasn't shown me anything. And I just got the update last night and drove it and charged it overnight tonight and I didn't see really any increase but I'll go ahead and follow up with a post uh, or a comment down below letting you guys know what I find out but as of right now on this uh, while I'm recording this video um, there is no indication that this update has the additional battery range and the additional 5% power um, that everybody's going goo goo over so yeah so let's dig into this folks this won't be a long video I promise you we're going to go over a couple things I'm going to show you how to turn stuff on and off and we're just going to rock this video and and um, that'll be it. So thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and hit safety and security and scroll up here a little bit. And there you see it, sentry mode. Um, now, as everybody should be aware, if you're not, you definitely have to turn sentry mode on and off every time you want to use it. It is not set to on default. So you have to definitely select that on and off. Because everybody um, is sort of in panic about, you know, uh, sentry mode and does it work, does it not work. I've done some testing <laughs> for about 15 minutes or so before I actually started to record this video and found um, that sentry mode really did not work. I, I could not get this thing to turn on for the life of me. So what we're going to do... So I'm going to turn this on and just show you guys, and I'm not really sure 
um, where everybody else is on their updates. But um, I just got this one last night. So I think this is the latest. And you would have thought that Tesla would have fixed anything that was buggy about the application. Um, so that when they do push it out that uh, it's a little more accurate in what it's supposed to do. And actually is working correctly. But I could not get this thing to, to go off for the life of me. I do not have my phone on me. It is in the house. Only thing I am using is my tesla card so i am going to close the door and we're gonna see if we can get this thing to turn on and sort of hopefully you can see what it takes to get this thing to activate i have not been able to get it activate yet so this should be fun let's take a look all right so let's check this out we're gonna see if we can get this thing to activate and see what it does folks if you don't have your phone on you're using your key card and you walk away um the sentry mode will not activate unless you lock the doors all right, so um, everybody's test, right? The back windows, the side windows. I am pounding on that pretty hard. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, it definitely does pick me up if I'm walking around the car, but I cannot get this thing to... Uh, sound the audible alert and you know it's just uh, not a not a huge deal for me I, I probably don't see myself using this much unless I'm parking in the city or something like that um, but it, the car parks in the garage every single night but for those folks who do need to use this it's not functioning I mean yes it turns on it says it's recording and we'll go ahead and take a look at that so you can see there it is recording sorry about the reflection but I just so you guys can hear and I'm not crazy I am I am. There it goes. Okay. All right. So sentry mode is turned on. And I just want to show you again here on the back windshield because the back cameras do not pick up anything um, from sentry mode. It's only the two side cameras and the front cam front facing camera in the uh, windshield. So... I mean, if I was robbing the car, um, <laughs> I wouldn't be pounding on it like this. I would have broke the window and I would have been in the car already. So look at this thing. I don't know how good you, that comes across on camera, but I am really banging on this car and it didn't do anything. Certainly doesn't do it on the shake. So I just think that this is just, it's inconsistent. I had to really, really pound in this car to get this thing to sound. And I'll tell you, I actually think breaking a window would be less than what I was doing to this thing. I mean, I was pounding on it and the car was shaking and it took about, I don't know, we'll say five to seven smacks of the window in order to get this thing to sound off correctly and uh, was a little disappointed by that. All right, so my take on sentry mode, it's not quite ready, but it does provide some benefit uh, to those who do want to use it. You know, if the alarm doesn't go off, the cameras are still recording the video. So if somebody does break into your vehicle, you do have that available to you. So yes, the audible deterrent is not yet there. Um, but I think as Tesla, you know, looks at this and takes a deeper dive into it, it will get better. But for right now, if you are using sentry mode, just be aware of those few things. It doesn't always work if somebody's pounding or banging on your car. The good thing is, is that when somebody walks up to the vehicle, it is automatically recording it. And that actually works well. Every time I walk the front to the side of the vehicle, sentry mode triggered right away. So I think that that really is the key to it is that you do have a video associated if something does happen. So I really think that that is the benefit, folks. So again, just caution, you know, if you are using sentry mode, you might not get the audible alert, but you will get the video recording. So what I wanted to do is... I wanted to also show you guys how to activate and deactivate dog mode um, for those of you who do not know. And, you know, some people think that it was buried somewhere in the, here in the, the car menu, but it is not. It is simply on your HVAC system. And when you bring it up, um, just like before, where it gave you the options to keep climate on, you now have a new feature, uh, dog. And to activate it, you simply just uh, t tap it and you just set your temperature to whatever you want it to be. 
and when you close the door let's give that a try and there it is my owner will be back soon and it took a second for the temperature to come on the temperature is set don't worry the heater is on and it's 59 degrees in the car very very cool um i do have a dog i take them everywhere with me that i can i do not always leave them in the car um, unless somebody else is in the car with him but this definitely gives me an opportunity to be able to run into the store you know and not have somebody freak out about the uh the dog and as soon as you return to the car um dog mode turns off but your heater is actually still on so you have to go ahead and turn that off now it will automatically turn back off. Um, it will not go to dog mode, so you'll have to keep that, uh, turn that back on when you want to use it again. So pretty cool feature. I really, really like this uh, since I'm a dog owner. Um, I think this is a pretty cool feature. So what I want in quick controls, your folding mirrors are actually in here. Um, right there and i had already set mine but let's go ahead and just do that real quick because i think that uh people may not understand how this works so it's it's basically geo geo locating you um and every time that you pull up to that location and you have this setting turned on it will automatically fold and unfold your mirrors so all you simply have to do is if you're parked in your parking garage at work or your parking lot or at home and you want to set that as a geolocation and have your mirrors fold and unfold, you simply just press the fold button and right there you can see it says always fold mirrors at this location and you simply select that and that is it. Every time you pull in and out of this location, it will go ahead and fold and unfold your mirror. So that's pretty cool. There's one other thing that I wanted to show you guys as well as it relates to the folding mirrors, and that is linking that to your home link uh, because that now that is an option for you. So you can, you know, as you pull up to the house, you can just do it that way as well. If you did not want to do it from a geographical standpoint, you can do it from your home link. And that is another cool feature. Um, if you're pulling into a tight garage or a tight parking spot, um, you can certainly use this um, for that reason. So let me flip this around and show you guys how to activate that feature as well. Okay, so in order to do so, you have to uh, go ahead and hit your home link button and go to home link settings here and you are just going to click on the home link setting that you have set up for your car like me i have my, my buddy's garage in here as well um, but you can see there's a little uh, checkbox right here for auto folding mirrors so it will actually um, auto fold your mirrors as you are pulling into the garage and um, which is another cool feature because you know if you're not doing it geographically here you can do it that way as well so i'm going to go ahead and i just turn that off so i can show you guys i did have it programmed in my home link show you that one more time and turn that on okay and we're going to go ahead and pull out of the garage and pull back in and you guys will be able to see how that mirror works with that setting now the mirrors are folded in All right, yes, I have a really long driveway. So let's see when these are going to come out. And right as soon as I pulled out from my driveway, they unfolded and I am off and running. So I'm just going to spin this around real quick. And we're going to go back to the house so you can see them fold up. And there they go. They are closed. And there goes my garage because it was... Okay, folks, so there you have it. That was the auto folding mirrors portion of the video. Um, I really like that feature. I think it's very cool. I think a lot of people will find that useful. Um, just remember that you can do it two ways. You could do it geographically or you can go into your home link settings and do it that way as well. So there you have it, folks. That is the video for today. We truly appreciate everybody tuning in. And for those of you who are new to the channel, thank you so much for tuning in. And for all my return subscribers, thank you so much for coming back and watching another video. We do truly appreciate it. And hey, if you um, don't mind, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. Thank you so much, folks, for tuning in. Have a great day.